talk about how less is more when it comes to Amazon enhanced brand content. We're going to talk about the balance between in-depth readers and just skimmers. We're gonna talk about the best practices for imagery and we're gonna talk about leaving a little extra space in there. I'm Andrew Maffetone. Today I'm joined by the lovely Morgan Gibbons and this is episode number 46 of The Seller's Cast. So here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna let Morgan kick us off. Morgan is our content god here at Seller's Choice. So I knew for a matter of fact that we had to have Morgan join us today. Uh, so Morgan, I'm gonna let you kick us off. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the intricacies of dealing with people who are a skimmer versus people who are an in-depth reader. Sure, uh, thank you for having me. I traveled a really far way to get here, a couple desks over. Um, so I think the big thing with enhanced brand content is that it is obviously a space to provide more information for your potential customer, right? Uh, this is really where you wanna show off the differentiation factors that come with your products. So what makes you special? What makes you unique? Uh, with that being said, a lot of people uh, will take the time to read it if you give it to them. We recommend that every actual listing has enhanced brand content. It definitely sells you as being more reputable, uh, being more quality. And there are, again, two different types of customers. There are the skimmers and there are the in-depth readers. Correct. So there's one thing we've always catered here that we're always trying to make sure we want to like kind of lean towards as we're starting to do things. Yes. Every product has so much information and there's so much to talk about and there's so many things we need to say, but in reality, there's really not. The average consumer just wants the information that they're looking for, they wanna know it quick and then they wanna get out of there. So the longer the consumer actually sits on a listing, the less likely they are to convert because their mind is moving, they may see something else, they may get distracted, they may read something that they didn't wanna know, they may read something that was irrelevant and now is misleading them. So you kind of want to make sure that you're giving them the right amount of information, not too much, not too little. You always just want to make sure this is the only stuff that they need to know once they go to convert. I don't have to list great for a gift, great for a birthday, great for Christmas, great for Hanukkah. Like you don't have to go through all of the situations that it's great for. They probably already know that. Plus, at the end of this, we'll probably cater a little bit towards that answer a little bit more anyway. But, so let's pivot now over to what are our best practices for the kind of like ideal imagery that you want to have. Absolutely. Um, so you want to make sure that obviously these images are connected. When I look at an image on an EVC, I don't want to have to search for your product within that image. Um, and I think the most important thing, both in terms of content, content and imagery, is to allow the customer to sort of envision themselves using it, to have practical lifestyle images where a consumer can look at it and say, oh, I never thought about using this product for camping before. Uh, this would be a great thing when I go on my annual camping trip. Something to that effect. Yeah, so uh, really kind of caters towards what I, I just mentioned too about not saying that kind of stuff. Like if you have a picture for your product great for camping and you have a picture for camping, you don't need to say it's great for camping. I can tell there's a guy camping. <laughs> like, be very straightforward, just show the picture, make sure they're clean, make sure they're crisp. Cater more towards imagery, cater more towards branding and keep the content limited. If you had to open up an entire enhanced brand content because you couldn't provide enough information in the bullet points or the product images, you have way too much copy. That area is supposed to be nice, clean, and pretty, and professional, and just look awesome so that the consumer can kind of picture themselves in that certain situation, which again, beautiful work, because that's a great segue into the last one, which is providing that little extra space. So while you know so many details about your actual product, there are certain things that are relevant to the customer, and then other small, minute details that are more so relevant to you as a seller. We recommend that you leave that little bit of extra space so that your consumer can envision themselves using your product, being one with your product, um, as corny as that sounds, but allowing the consumer to see the different options, the different ways that your products can be used, really allows for someone to be sold on buying yours over another's. Yeah, and, and think about, you know the most about your product, no matter who you hire, no matter who you work with, no matter which customers shop with you a million times, you're still gonna know more about your product than anyone else. 
which at the end of the day probably hinders you because you're trying to sell to people who don't know a lot about your product and your goal isn't to teach them every single little aspect of this guy manufactures it and then this guy assembles it and then it's made out of this polyurethane and this and that like no it's a phone case does it fit my phone great does it look cool awesome i'm buying it like that kind of simplicity that allows the consumer to go okay here's my situation how can i picture my situation with this product so that way they can envision the sale as opposed to you forcing the sale you're not a car salesman you're just making an enhanced brand content so i think at the end of the day we just want to say less is more for enhanced brand content um but per usual morgan Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm sure we'll see you again. Yeah, um, I'll see you two desks over. <laughs> but uh, as usual, also make sure you guys comment below. Let us know if there's any questions you have regarding this or let us know what it is you'd like us to talk about next week. And please make sure you guys subscribe. But until then, we will see you next week on the next Seller's Cast.